close this one. Obviously, it does have eye autofocus, like I said, for oh taking pictures. I would have really appreciated the eye autofocus for video as well. Now, that is something that I'm sure they can do in the firmware update. So, Nikon, please come on, man. Put it put it out there for us in the firmware update. Firmware update. Love to have firmware update. Oh, yo. There's nothing saying that they can't do a firmware update to add the eye autofocus what? video for the Z50. And I think that they should still go ahead and I do that. I mean, there's no reason why they, they should. should still I mean, people wow. add the eye autofocus for video for the Z50. Right, and I think that's that not they should too still bad. That's not too bad. That. That's I mean, not too no bad. It's about time, though, for real. Hey, yo, I asked and I waited for this firmware update. And suddenly, out of the blue, out of nowhere, totally unexpected to me, we got a firmware update for the Nikon Z50. And it's the one that I've been asking for since the beginning. ZFC has eye autofocus for video. Z50 only has it for taking pictures. Why? It's stupid. It's the same camera. Let's get on with that firmware update sooner. But they did it. And that's a great thing too because to tell you the truth, I think what it signals to me is that the Z50 is probably on its way out and that's like the last thing they're going to push out for it. You know, now it has eye autofocus for video. That's a big thing. <laughs> God for real, you know what I'm saying? You know, I had my Z50 for two years now and it's getting a little long in the tooth, you know what I'm saying? So I guess Nikon had to do something to refurbish the old camera so they could sell a few more before they send it out the door. I'm thinking that like they're going to do something about upgrading with a Z52 or something like that coming pretty soon. That's my guess. It really does make this camera a much better camera right now value wise. And it's nice to see, you know, Nikon seems to be taking on that like Kaizen mentality that they're stealing from Fuji where they're just going to keep supporting these cameras. I actually read recently that they're going to keep supporting the Z6 and the Z7 as well. I think firmware is going forward. And it's a good thing to always be updating the autofocus systems and perfecting those things. You know what I mean? That's how Nikon is going to really establish a solid foothold with a customer base in this market that's dwindling. You know what I'm saying? Yo, check it out. We're going to ball out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put the Z50 on the Atomos Ninja. We're going to record and see how we get. You know what I'm saying? Whether the eye autofocus is working well, whether it tracks well and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So far, so good. It seems to be holding on to the eye and everything like that. You know what I mean? So let's just step back a bit. Let's see if we experience anything but as far as the eyes going. You know what I'm saying? Still, still seems to be tracking the eye. You know what I'm saying? From back here. Once in a while, switching over, you know what I'm saying? It seems like it seems to be going to one eye or the next. I guess it's determining which eye is the best for any given situation, you know what I'm saying? Let's turn around, see what happens. Yo, okay, we back on the eye, you know what I'm saying? Was a little bit confused for one second. Let's do that one more time. Yo, all right, but it catches up real quick, you know what I'm saying? Not too bad. All right, so obviously I don't have an Atomos Ninja, but we're going to do it the old school way. No big deal about that. And we're going to do a test that I personally designed, which I'm liking to call the Blizzard Camouflage Eye Autofocus Nikon Z50 test. So let's do it. Are we following? How is that eye autofocus? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm predominantly white here. I'm trying to confuse it. See if it follows me. Move slowly come towards the camera are we on the eye which eye are we on turn away and back what happened there i have no idea all right let's go back here how far does that eye out of focus track you know what i'm saying we back here you know what i mean we got the snow falling i don't know if that's confusing it at all Walk over here a little bit. How quickly to catch the eye? Did it even catch the eye? Does it have the eye now? Hmm. Pretty good. Okay, let's do a bit of a low light autofocus test. You know what I'm saying? See if they've improved the low light autofocusing capabilities on the Z50 because to tell you the truth, that's always been a bugaboo with Nikon. They've been really poor performers when it comes to low light situations. It's like first light right now. The sun is just barely coming up. You can see the light just above the horizon probably. So it's kind of dark out here. I think the camera's operating at like ISO 6400 or something like that. How well does it follow the eye? Does it focus well? It's one of those things where it's going to be doing that hunting and all the rest of that sort of thing that it's known to do when it comes to low light situations. Get around this around here. 
or is it going to work adequately? You know what I'm saying? Now I got this on the gimbal. Actually, I got this on the Zion Crane M3. I picked that up if y'all see my last video. I was reviewing the M2S. Well, I picked up the M3. I'm going to talk about that at some point soon. But in any case, what we evaluate in here is low light eye autofocus performance. You know what I'm saying? So is it performing better than it was before? Because Nikon's always been really bad when it comes to eye autofocus for low light situations. Okay, now we're going to throw a bit of a wrench in the gears. I'm going to put some sunglasses on. Now let's see how it performs low light sunglasses autofocus test. I'm trying to make it difficult, you know what I mean? I want it to stumble. I want to get it to a situation where I could say, okay, there's the limitations. But if it doesn't, if it performs well and autofocus as well, then what if I got to complain about, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those things. How's it doing with the sunglasses? Is it focusing? Is it keeping focus? Is it struggling? Because I've found every time I use the Nikon Z50, in low light situations, it always struggles in those circumstances to focus, to uh, you know acquire focus. Even if you use subject tracking and all that sort of thing, it just gets lost very quickly. So, how did that go? Okay, so one reason I'm on the gimbal is because my gimbal is actually outfitted with a light. So, let's give it some help and see if that does anything to improve the autofocusing. Okay, I'm currently being illuminated. Um, that should help the autofocusing, obviously to track my face and see what it is that uh, it's supposed to be acquiring as a focused uh, subject you know what I'm saying so it's easier to see my eye clearly because I'm being illuminated is that something that's helping it out tremendously are we seeing an improvement I have no idea I'm gonna see this later and make that judgment I gotta duck down every time I get to that situation there because some of the snow is piled up on the cedar trees but point is we tested out the functionality of this here autofocus with the assist of a light now is it performing better now let's do stage two with the light sunglasses on how is it going to perform okay we got sunglasses on we've been illuminated low light situation probably somewhere in iso 6400 something like that this is obviously the range where nikon always struggles my Nikon Z6 struggles in low light situation too. We got squirrels running amok this morning. And uh, yeah, am I managing to trip it up with my sunglasses being illuminated by an external light source in the early morning hours of first light? How is the Z50 performing? Just to specify also, I'm using the kit lens at the moment, so you know, it might do better perhaps if I had a faster lens or whatever, something like uh, one of those Viltrox uh, APS-C lenses that came out, I guess, that I think stops down to uh, 1.4 aperture, something like that. But, you know, obviously this is just 3.5, which equivalent is going to be closer to 5, you know, as far as full frame equivalent. So obviously not a very fast lens, not a very good low light performer. It deserves mention. All right, so we might as well make the trifecta of scenarios and test it in good light too. Now, outside at this moment, the sun has come up. It's very bright out here. There's white everywhere. We just had a snowfall, so that's going to act like a natural reflector. Very bright scenario. I would expect this to perform 100%, and if it doesn't, then I'll be disappointed. You know, because I figure in perfect lighting scenarios, eye out of focus, this close in a vlogging situation, you know, on a gimbal, nice and stabilized nothing really should be fussing around with it you know what i mean so it should be getting some pretty excellent results as far as uh keeping focus is concerned you know what i mean so the nikon z50 with this firmware update can now compete at the very least with the other ones in its own product line the zfc and the z30 you know to be able to keep the eye out of focus though i never really had a problem with just the zone focus i guess of the face without the eye but it is beneficial to have the eye and in this scenario, I'm fully expecting it to work 100% perfect. So I will be disappointed if I look at this footage afterwards and find that it wasn't absolutely perfect. Now, of course, we have to cover the eyes and try and trick it that way. Give it no eyes to focus on. Is it going to maintain the focus well? I'll tell you the truth, I found before when I was watching the footage in the low light examples, the ones that were artificially illuminated and the one where I wasn't, that for some reason, I think the focus was better with the sunglasses. I don't know. Am I remaining in focus? 
Sorry if I'm like bobbing and weaving a bit. I just gotta dodge branches and things like that. How's that working out? We having success with the focusing? Yeah, I gotta show you guys this. Check this shit out. We just had a pretty substantial snowfall and I take the snow blower and I like to make myself a path so that I have the use of the backyard. And of course, that gives me access to my bird feeder which I put up there, you know what I'm saying? I had a focus, bitch. So this is kind of a big deal for real as far as a firmware update goes, you know what I mean? Someone who's a Nikon user like myself, this is definitely going to keep me in the Nikon environment, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be sticking to Nikon for sure if they keep doing updates like this, this kind of thing, you know, keeping up to date with their firmware is trying to improve on their cameras and all that sort of thing. I hope they keep supporting them going forward, you know what I mean? I hope the Z50 gets more tweaks with the autofocus system, you know, improvements in low light and all that sort of thing. Anyways, it's a smart move by Nikon. A little late, they should have done this years ago, no question about it, but now the Z50 with eye autofocus for video, yo, it's kind of like a whole new camera almost in a sense, you know what I'm saying, where it's taking up another level, another echelon. For those people who are definitely going to be like content creators and interested in and using it for video because like i mentioned before in one of my older videos i think the z50 is a very underrated video camera you know obviously it doesn't do 10 bit or log or any of that bullshit, but you know for the run and gun type of shooting it's a great camera and the image comes off of it is real nice but autofocus system if it's going to be on point yo you're talking about a contender you know what i'm saying so and as a Nikon user myself, I'm extremely happy to finally, finally get this firmware update. So, yo, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Catch y'all next time. Subscribe and all that bullshit. Peace.